Good morning, everyone. It's Brenda Quintana here. Happy Friday. I am in Canada this week. I am getting my mom's condo ready for sale. So I'm going to be doing a recording for you on my Fun Friday project. And I thought this week would be really cool if I could show you how I did my customer thank you cards this month. Um, some of you who ordered from me in March will have already received their cards. And if you haven't received yours yet and you don't want to uh, ruin the surprise, then watch this video later. But um, this is not a hard card, but it is a simple wow card that I just fell in love with. It is called a bridge card, and I'll just show you real quick what that looks like. It has a bridge piece, so it kind of, and then it opens up like this, and it's just a really nice way to showcase paper, and I'm using the perennial lavender paper here, and I'm gonna show you a sparkly twist on this card in just a moment when I make it. And I originally was gonna make this card with the Zinnia Suite, which is an online exclusive, but wouldn't you know it, that Zinnia paper um, went out of stock for a week. It may actually be in stock now, or it will be back in stock um, next week. So if you really love Zinnias, um, check out and look for the Zinnia paper in the store. But the the perennial lavender paper was so popular, it carried it's carrying over into next year into the annual catalog. So it's also a very popular paper. But you might notice I have used zinnias on my emboss piece here because there's a beautiful 3D zinnia embossing folder that I thought um, I was originally going to use. So I just kind of translated this over to the lavender card. And I'm also using the greeting from the zinnia stamp set. Um, and I, th I think this card is just gorgeous. And it's a very efficient use of cardstock, which you'll see in just a moment. So I hope you will stick with me and watch me make this card. And I made them, I made so many different um, thank you cards. You can just really mix and match the, the paper. It's just so much fun to kind of come up with different combinations that look good. And I will have a project sheet with you complete with a diagram and I will um, endeavor to get that out on Saturday for you. If you would like my project sheet, make sure you are on my email list. To get on my email list, look below in the description of this video and you will find the link there to subscribe. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, you will just automatically get that on Saturday. All right, um, just one more thing before um, I carry on. If you want to order any of that beautiful paper and make some of your own bridge cards, um, this is my host code for the month. And if you're ordering, please use this host code. For every $50 you spend this month, you'll get a pack of my 6x6 retired, retired designer series paper. Let me grab that for you real quick. Um, I've just got some different I have so many different pieces or packages all done up in these cute little cellophane bags and I put the original um, paper name on the back I cut that into six by six too uh, you'll get at least 20 sheets of the paper so I always do this with my retired paper I cut it up into six by six packages and I um, use it as rewards for my customers and um, judging by past years I think this is probably the fourth or fifth year I have been doing this it's a very popular month to order because you get a pay pack of paper for every $50 you spend. So it's a really good deal and I ship it to you for free. I wait until the end of April though, because if you order more than more than once in the month of April, I send all that paper to you all in one go. So um, you can just, um, there's no limit to how many packs you can earn. All right, I'm gonna pop this away for a moment and I'm gonna switch to my other camera. Pop these away. Okay, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. 
Oh, I wanted to show you too, before I forget, because I always forget to show extra samples. Um, this was my original car design plan with the zinnia paper. So it's also really pretty um, to do it with the zinnia paper. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> so just a different take on it. Um, and this one I used um, some of uh, that glimmer paper. This is um, the, both the glimmer paper in this case and the zinnia paper are online exclusives as is the embossing folder. Okay, so let's sparkle up our perennial lavender card. And usually I use my Simply Scored, but we're not doing too much scoring on here. So I'm gonna use my trimmer today. And I will need to stretch out my arm of my trimmer. Can we fit everything on here? Sometimes it's tough in my little workspace. All right, so I am going to be using a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock today. I also used Highland Heather and Crumb Cake as card bases, so you just choose whatever color you want that coordinates the best. And this piece is 11 inches by four and a quarter inches. So we're gonna start off by popping this into the trimmer with the long side up at the top and first of all, we are going to score. So make sure you grab your scoring blade, um, which is the lighter colored one, and we're gonna score at five and a half. Okay, now we're gonna cut. So you can see my little score line there. Maybe not so well in the light. Yeah, there you go. All right, then we're gonna slide this piece over to, oh, we're gonna slide it to nine and a half inches and we'll cut this piece off this piece is going to become the end piece of our card so just set it aside and then we're going to slide this over to the seven inch mark and cut it off and this piece is going to become the bridge piece of our card so it's a very nice way to use up card stock, one piece of card stock. All right, so next we are going to fold this piece along the score line. Okay, and then we're going to take, this is our bridge piece, so let's just leave it there for a moment. We're going to take, um, this skinny piece and then this piece we're going to put designer series paper on it actually we're i was originally going to do designer series paper but I've, I've decided i got my order my order arrived before i left and this paper woo, is the three color glimmer paper it has the highland heather it has petal pink and it has pretty peacock so let's just open this up for a second I'll show you the other two colors you get two sheets of each of the sparkliness papers so this one is the Highland Heather this one is wait a minute what color is that petal pink okay sorry Highland Heather petal pink and then we've got pretty peacock and it shimmers. It's really beautiful paper. So let me just pop this away. Slide this in. All right. So I could have used, I did originally, I cut these two pieces of paper, kind of neutral, kind of choose neutral papers for the outside. And then I chose a more colorful paper for the inside. I'll tell you the dimensions on those in a second. So instead of using these pieces of paper from the designer series paper, I'm going to use the shimmer paper and I've cut this to one and a quarter by four inches. So it's gonna nest just on the inside, one and a quarter by four. So let's go ahead and glue those down. I like a little sparkle. I like it when my glitter is contained. 
And in this case, since it is stuck to the paper, it is pretty contained. Okay. And then we'll do this one over here. You have to put the designer series paper on first before you do the bridge because it's impossible to do afterwards. Okay. So just center that on there. Now, here's my little trick for you. We've got these locking tweezers. When I press them, they open, and when I let go, they clamp. So these act like a little clamp. So what I like to do, until this piece is locked into place by the bridge, I'm going to put this right on the end. I'm feeling it with my fingers, and then I'm clamping it down here to make sure it stays on the edge. Now we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna glue it across. The trick with this though, the one thing you have to remember is that you can't glue the whole piece. Otherwise you're gonna glue your card shut and it won't open. So you just have to put glue here and here. So no more than three quarters of an inch over. So about like that and about like that. We're gonna put this down over top, and so this should be right on the edge, and I'm going to kinda of just eyeball it here. I want it right dead center, top to bottom, and side to side, about center. Now, there are different bridge cards, and you don't have to center this piece if you don't want to. It can be slightly up or slightly down. Um, but I want mine centered. So I really want to make sure I give this a little push down because um, it's sticking to glitter, glimmer paper, and you want to make sure it's got some, some adhesion going because um, sometimes this paper can be a little bit slippery. You don't want your end of your bridge to fall off. Okay, so we've got this piece ready to go. Now we need a piece for the front right here. Okay, so this piece measures, it measures four inches by two and a quarter, four inches by two and a quarter. We're going to take this um, gratitude stamp and I just want to show you, this is the Simply Zinnia stamp set, and that's where the gratitude, a beautiful gratitude greeting comes from. Now this stamp set is also available as a bundle. I didn't put the bundle in the supply list, but if you're interested in getting the bundle that matches the stamp set, then um, look for the Simply Zinnia bundle. It's an online exclusive if you wanna get um, both pieces to that. But I am just using the stamp set and we're going to grab the gorgeous grape ink pad. Nice dark purple ink. And I wanna stamp this close to the bottom, right here. I'm going to stamp first and then emboss because it doesn't look good if you do it the other way around. Okay, we can put our tweezers away, our bone folder away. I'm gonna put these pieces away too. Let's grab our stamp and cut and emboss machine just a second. I'm going to grab the base platform right here, the number one platform. And then this number four plate right here, this is for 3D embossing folders. Okay, so the Zinnia is a 3D embossing folder. The yellow dot here means it's an online exclusive. All right, so the pattern, I want my flowers and the stems to look right. So if I stuck it through here and embossed this way, it would be sideways. So I have to kind of turn it on its side here. 
and I kind of look I, I like these two flowers I don't know if you can see them very well but there's two flower heads right here and right here and this is just the perfect spot to um, have those flower heads come out right there so I've clamped that into my embossing folder I've got my number four plate to go on top and now we're going to crank this through and see what we get. Isn't that gorgeous? Just very subtle and gorgeous. All right, I'm going to pop this back down gonna bring this in bring back my glue and we'll glue this on here pop this on here and just center it on that bridge piece okay it's not looking like so gorgeous and sparkly it's just so pretty right okay let's open this up and there's so many nice patterns in, in the perennial lavender designer series paper pack. Before I glue this on here, I just wanna show you, I've got, this part pack has been hacked apart because there's so many beautiful patterns of paper in here. No wonder it's carrying over, It's you can't go wrong. Mother's Day is coming up. This would look great for your Mother's Day projects. This would actually make a beautiful Mother's Day card. Think about, um, instead of this gratitude greeting, which actually works, you could do, do this on the outside and then you could do a happy Mother's Day on the inside. Uh, it's so, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna take this piece and just glue it to the inside and all you want to do with this one is just center it right in the middle oh, isn't that beautiful I need to cut a piece of paper for me All right, I've got a four and a quarter by two and three eighths about piece of paper. And the way I'm gonna glue it to here is I'm actually gonna pop it on here and then put it on here. I'll show you how I did that. The reason why is I need to make sure that this piece is, is underneath this piece. So I just cut it a teeny tiny bit shorter so that I have a little bit of play room so that it won't show. But just to be sure, this is what I do. I'm gonna put glue on here. I'm leaving myself about almost half an inch around the edge because I'm gonna need a space to put my fingers. So I'm going to center this on the back of here. Make sure that I've got a little purple showing up here and down here, and then I'm gonna center it from side to side. Okay, and when I like the look of that, I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna hold it with my fingers, just like the tweezers did, and then I'm gonna shut this without letting go and just press it down. And guess what happens? Now I've got this centered here because it was centered here, so it'll be centered here. And there is no white showing at the top and the bottom. So now there's a spot for you to perfectly write your greeting, stamp a Mother's Day message, or whatever message you want on the inside. And there is the card. Okay, so just a couple things to finish this card off. I got a little tiny Baker's Twine bow. So this is this from the Essentials Baker's Twine Pack. And as you know, I like to glue my Baker's Twine on with Tombow. And I'll just add that little bow right there. I'll just hold it for a few seconds. White on white 
is nice because it doesn't take away from the card. It doesn't steal the show. It's tiny, but it just adds that punctuation point on the card. And then we're going to take, it doesn't matter, this is the pattern. You're going to take three gems. You're going to put one here. You're going to put, let's grab a little baby one here, another one here, and then you choose just another one. I use all three colors on the card. So there's kind of a light one, um, a medium one, and then a kind of a reddish purple. So I use all three of those purples on the card. And look at that, Like, isn't that gorgeous? Like, look at the shine on that. That paper is so beautiful. All right, let's bring out all of the cards that I have made. You know what? I want to, I just want to make this, want this one to stay down a little bit more. It's like wanting to pop up. Okay, there we go. All right, so look at these cards. Aren't they just beautiful? I just love it. That's my prototype. And then there's this one. That one's the Zinnia one. But look at all of these purple perennial lavender cards. I hope, I hope you, if you got one of these, if you're one of my customers who ordered from me last month, I hope you like this card. Um, you can turn yours into uh, a Mother's Day card very easily just by changing the greeting on or adding a Happy Mother's Day greeting on the inside um, or a birthday greeting. Um, I, I hope you enjoyed that card. All right. Now, remember, you need to be on my email list to get my project sheet, which I will send out tomorrow. Um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, I hope you'll sub sub subscribe and click the notifications bell to be notified when my next video is live. And um, leave me a comment down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. That always helps me be seen by others. I appreciate all of you. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you have a great weekend. And next week I will be, um, I, my next live video will be on the 19th. So a week from today, um, on Tuesday, I'll have another recorded video for you. So I hope you will um, join me next week when I'm live. I miss you guys and um, I will see you soon. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.